so so after this show, a bunch mm-hmm. of news came out that stardom mm-hmm. was terminating the contract of Rossi Ogawa. This was the picture that was taken at the end of the show. Rossi with all the girls. Literally, f- about 15, 20 minutes prior to the news breaking that Rossi was terminated, the We Are Stardom uh, Twitter page, which is the the like the like English one, posted a, th- big, a big old thank you to Rossi. So social media was not coordinated with what was happening. So, a statement from Star. Am I not surprised with some of these wrestling promotions, though? I mean, look at AEW. Mm. Oh, we're oh, we're going to talk about him. Don't worry. Uh, via the social media and digital channels, Star made an announcement that Rossi Ogawa's agreement with the promotion has been terminated. He started he, he started this company with Dane years in, in 2011. Um, note, it noted that he was trusted with tasks related to Stardom and learned that he has poached wrestlers and staff members. As a result, huh, yeah, wrestling rodeo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's let's see when let's see when the next wrestling rodeo will be, uh, Mister Anthony. Yeah, what's wrestling rodeo? Denise promotion in Calgary that has had one show. Was it the disco one? I don't know. I think it might have been. I don't know. Ask, uh, Anthony can answer that question. Um, the as a result, fun. Yeah. Yeah, that was the one. I yeah. saw tons of ads for that. I just don't live there. <laughs> yeah. So as a result, they terminated his contract. He'll no longer be serving in his executive producer role. Um, in the announcement, they they apologize and they'll conven- continue to develop stardom. Uh, Ogawa took to Twitter, and noted that it, he was notified after the show that his contract was being terminated. He added that the truth of the situation may be told someday, for, but for now, his concern is the wrestlers. That statement right there that he's concerned about the wrestlers is where it's everybody fishing. gets hurt. Mm-hmm. But I need to get all over Tony Khan right now, the douchebag. It starts posting out by Rossi with a bunch of stupid ass memes, like the douchebag that he is. Like, as much as I love. The pro his product, he he is a douchebag, and he's just and he's like, is it, he's putting out these memes. It's a clear case of industrial espionage with the with the sixties penguin and his henchmen. Uh, just the big goodbye with Larry Uh-oh. David for the by Rossi one. I just Did he lose me. Oh, hello. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's probably just my internet issues um but yeah it's tony Khan being a douche and he just didn't need to say a word in all this he just really didn't yeah i think the problem with tony Khan, because i've been thinking a lot about this as like a little boy running a multi-million dollar company with a bunch of people who are not qualified to be doing the jobs that they're doing and everything just sounds like bushy road to me you were mentioning to me the other time um, on our show, Stardom Review last night, that that um, what's the guy's name again? Okada. Oh, uh, it's, uh, but the, the Taro Okada. Taro Okada, who is the person on Bushi Road? Yes, he's going to. He, he's start the president doing... of. He's the president of Bushi Fight, which is a subsection of Bushi Road. Um, and it they kind of oversee stardom and new Japan. So and and he has zero, zero, no, 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 there, there's no microscopicness there. There is a zero percent qualification factor. Yeah, we'll get into his, matches. That's a problem. That. But in regards to AEW, um, Tony, much like Mr. Okada in Bushi Road Fight There, seems to need an adultier adult constantly watching them and taking away their phone. Because like it just seems that you put a cellular device in Tony Khan's hand and he breaks things. Take it away. 
-hmm. Just let him run his company without his social media. That's what a personal assistant is for, my guy. Like, you're telling me you can't afford that? How many people you got in your locker room? Telling me you can't afford that bullshit. Just hire a woman who looks pretty because that'll get a pretty woman an easy job. And just get her to hold your freaking phone. And when you ask for it, train her to say no. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. No, Mr. Khan. Your tel- your telephone hours are between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. It is not 6 p.m. Thank you. Like, Yeah. He does a lot of stupid late night tweeting, too. That's another issue. Um, well, I mean, 6 to 7. I said it. After 7, the phone gets taken away. Put back yep. in the safe. Yeah, so so the Tokyo Sports, one of the, one of the uh, publications over in Japan, caught up with mm-hmm. uh, Taro Okada, the president, um, talking about the poaching. O- Ogawa, Ogawa was approached before about poaching, um, and he had made it his intentions clear to stardom that he was leaving in the spring, uh, from what I read, would have actually been the end of February, and was going to go start a new promotion. So he said around December, we began to hear that information that Mr. Ogawa was poaching people out of the company. We had verbally, always verbally told him, if you do doing that, please stop. We would like to continue working together in the future. But we are able to confirm that he has continued to do so since then, so we have taken measures. So this was them letting him go. Um, on January 21st, town staff employees were informed that Ogawa would be leaving in March. Like so, the date I other date I got was like February eighteenth or something like that. Uh, his alleged poaching uh, continued, so that sped up the process. Um, and then he says, "We are aware that many of the wrestlers who have been poached are title holders or other and other popular wrestlers. If those wrestlers leave, in the worst case scenario, there was a possibility that we would have to close the company. After internal consideration, we notified Stardom that we would be terminating." the contract immediately of Rossi Ogawa. Um, and then Okada also went on to say, I've had several wrestlers express their intention to leave the company or are thinking about leaving. 